It's a new year, and I'm feeling motivated, so I wanted to share my New Year's resolutions. I know New Year's resolutions don't usually stick around the whole year, but hey, even if they only stick around a couple months, then I'm better for it for those few months. So let's jump into it. Okay, so I have three different categories of resolutions. I have my main ones that I really do want to stick to throughout the year. Then I have a few others of things that I want to do. And then I have a few things that I said it'd be sort of fun to do. So let's jump into the first top priority category. And so my first goal is to read the Bible a lot. In free time that I have or waking up in the mornings, I really just want to make sure that I am getting time in the Word to get to know the Lord more because I think that's the biggest priority we need to have. Second, I really want to work out more. I want to get stronger and build my stamina and be able to run faster and farther. I don't want to stay at this plateau that I've been in for so long where I'm like kind of in shape, but not really. And like, I couldn't actually do too much physical exertion if I was asked to. And after university, I am hoping to go to police academy and so I do need to be fit for that. And this coming summer, I'm wanting to do a police internship. And so with the internship application process, there are physical fitness requirements and tests. And so I want to be able to really excel at those. And so I'm mainly going to be working on bench press and running and really just building my upper body in general, especially for the police academy. And um, I will be having leg days and stuff, but I think my more of my focus is on upper body and then third this is i think going to be my hardest new year's resolution of the full year but is to run a half marathon i really want to do this i've been wanting to do this for a long time this was kind of in my new year's resolutions last year last year i said i kind of want to do this but it doesn't have to happen but this year it has to happen i am going to be training with one of my friends so i think that's really going to help and she's already found one that we can sign up for and then i think once i pay for it I don't feel like I really have to do it because I hate paying for things and then wasting it. And so that'll be a good motivation, I guess. And then I've also created different motivational checkpoints of things I can do or get or buy myself um, for each mileage checkpoint. So I'll tell you all those little motivational rewards at the end. And then fourth for this main category is I really talk to myself. I feel like I have in so many areas trying to form myself and shape myself and give answers and talk like other people and do things that other people would want me to do or things that I think will make people like me more. But I genuinely just want to be myself and I don't want to feel the social pressure to have to fit in or do things that other people will like. Like genuinely I do want to be kind and like have people enjoy who I am but I want them to enjoy me for me, not enjoy me for who I think they're going to enjoy. So top four, read my Bible get stronger and work out and run and then run a half marathon and then be myself. Okay, and then I have a bunch of other just fun ones. So these are things that I want to do. I'll go through them a little faster, but I really want to get more girlfriends and I really want to invest in them and be intentional to seek out time with them and, and really spend time to develop those close friendships with other girls. Next one is to memorize more scripture. I think that'll be really helpful just to have God's word on my heart. And then three, I'm hoping to get a police internship this year. Four, get my Aggie ring. I'm so excited. I go to Texas a and and I just want that gold on my finger. And then I want to save up for either a car or a mobile home for after I graduate. I feel like if I spend my money wisely and don't just go get out of town and do stuff like that, I'll really be able to save up um, because life is coming straight for me. I'm going to turn 21 this year. That's on my list. I'm going to keep reading books. Last year, I set the goal to read seven books that year. I ended up reading 18. And so I absolutely loved writing. So I want to continue that. And then I want to keep Instagram deleted for at least a month. I'm hoping to keep Instagram deleted a lot longer. Um, but I feel like I just waste so much time on Instagram scrolling through reels and all of that kind of thing. And so I really want to keep it deleted so that I'll have more time to work out and pursue these other goals that I've set for myself. I also am going to keep Snapchat deleted all year. I think that'll be easy for me. I don't really like Snapchat that much. And I feel like it's just toxic whenever I am on it. So 
I will stay off that this year and I think that'll be easier. Another thing that I have set for myself is I don't want to buy coffee out of the house. I'll like go buy coffee from the grocery store and make it at home in the mornings if I really want it or feel like I need it that day, but I don't want to go to a coffee shop or something like that and just buy a $7, $6, or even $5 coffee because I feel like that's such a waste of money. But yeah, I also just want to make coffee at home and not buy it out for financial reasons. Oh, and I said <laughs> the only time I'll buy coffee out of the house is if I'm using dining dollars because I'm not paying for those. And then another one is I like, don't want to touch my face so much and pick up my acne because I'm constantly like a fidgeter. I'm constantly moving my hands and talking with my hands or like picking at hangnails or my fingernails or my face. I'm just constantly touching my face and so I need to really make sure that I'm not doing that because all the oils just make my acne flare up. So that's a goal this year is to not touch my face as much. Okay, and then I have a few things that I think would just be sort of fun to do. I want to get a backflip on a trampoline, get a good headstand. I think that would be cool. I've been trying to work on my handstand and my balance, just like I fall a lot. So maybe a handstand if I'm like on my elbows and head would be easier. I don't know, we'll see. And then I want to train abs more, eat healthier. Oh, and then I said keep Snapchat deleted, but I think that'll be easy. But I think I really do want to eat more whole foods. I want to eat out less um, and I have so much Pinterest inspiration for different meals I can make, so I hope that I'll actually cook more at home. I think that'd be fun. And then I have a bunch of little motivational things that I'm going to be doing and thinking about so that I'll actually stick to my goals. So a first thing is that there's consistency over perfection. Uh, and if I'm striving for consistency instead of perfection, then I'll stick with it a lot longer. So say I'm striving for perfection. Then I'll go to the gym, put in 100%, like the first day and just go all out and be exhausted. And the next day I'll be so exhausted I won't want to go back. But if I go to the gym and put in 15 to 80% effort and say, okay, that was a good workout. Not incredible, wasn't amazing, didn't feel super exhausted or anything after. But if I still have the goal of consistency, then I'll continue to go back and back and back instead of trying to be perfect every single time because that will drain you. So consistency over perfection. And then I also want to build trust in myself. I think that if you do what you say you're going to do, that helps you trust yourself. So if I actually run a half marathon when I say I'm going to run a half marathon, or sign up for a half marathon when I say I'm going to run a half marathon, then that helps me build trust in myself. But this whole past year, I told my friends and told people, oh yeah, I'm going to run a half marathon. I didn't. And so that like lost trust in myself. I was like, oh, so I said I was going to do it, and then I didn't. So now I'm just... I'm not going to do it ever, but I really want to do it. And so I think actually sticking to things that you tell yourself you're going to do is going to build so much confidence in yourself and make you actually want to follow through with things. And if you even just have that mindset of, I said I'm going to do this, so in order to trust myself, I need to do this. I feel like that'll just be another small, tiny little thing in your brain of like, oh, if I don't do this, then I'll lose trust in myself. And having that idea of losing something um, is a big motivator for a lot of people. There's also the idea of being 1% better every day. I'm sure you've heard this, but it's like, if you go to the gym or you don't pick at your faces one day, then you'll be 1% better than the day before. So I think that's a fun little thing that doesn't inspire me a ton, but it might for you. So see if that helps you think Okay, I'll be 1% better. And then I've set up a bunch of rewards for myself so that I will actually complete the half marathon and get better at bench press. So I'll read these out to you. The first reward is after I'm able to run five miles straight without walking, I can buy myself a new pair of running shoes. And then at 10 miles without walking, just being able to run for 10 miles straight, I can buy myself new fancy running shorts and a new running shirt. And then at a half marathon, I can take a trip to the beach or buy a new swimsuit or a new workout outfit. And so one of those, I'll probably want to take myself on a trip to the beach. I think that'd be so fun. But also maybe I'll just want something physical because that'll be easier if like time doesn't work out. But I think that'd be a really motivating thing for me. And then with bench press, I currently can barely bench anything. Um, I think the most I've ever done is 12 and a half pounds on each side and that was really hard for me. And so I said, once I get to 15 pounds on each side, then I can buy a new piece of clothing for working out. And then once I get to 25 pounds on each side, I can buy new headphones because 25 is a lot for me. I know like that's easy for guys, but 25 plate on each side, bench press, 
easy. But for me, that's really hard. And I think that would be a huge stepping place. And so I'm gonna get myself new headphones. I kind of want to get these skull candy ones, but I'm not sure. But we'll see. I also just have like a little reward after like three work weeks of working out consistently. I can just do something nice for myself or treat myself. And so I think I really want to continue this whole wellness journey and really do things that are best for myself, like working out and doing things that will further my goals in the future. And so I hope that this motivated you and hopefully I can keep you guys updated. I'm really excited to start waking up earlier and working out more and all of these kinds of things. But I hope that you guys come along for this journey. And um, I'm excited, I'll probably film it and that'll help motivate me as well. But anyways, that is my 2024 New Year's resolutions and goals. Thanks for watching guys.